वी आर स्टडिंग ओशन करेंट्स टूडे लेट एस स्टडी द ओशन करेंट्स ऑफ अटलांटिक ओशन एज यू नो दैट अटलांटिक ओशन इज द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट वाटर बॉडी ऑन अवर प्लैनेट अर्थ इट इज नेम्ड आफ्टर दिस एटलस पर्वत दिस एटलस माउंटेन लोकेटेड टू द नॉर्थ वेस्ट ऑफ अफ्रीका कॉन्टिनेंट टू द ईस्ट ऑफ अटलांटिक ओशन इट इज यूरोप एंड अफ्रीका कॉन्टिनेंट टू इट्स वेस्ट नॉर्थ अमेरिका एंड साउथ अमेरिका कॉन्टिनेंट्स एंड इन द नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ओशन इज बाउंड बाई आर्कटिक सर्किल टू द नॉर्थ ऑफ विच इट इज आर्कटिक ओशन एंड इन साउथ इट इज अंटार्कटिक सर्किल टू द साउथ ऑफ विच इट इज सदर्न ओशंस नाउ लेट एस स्टडी द करेंट्स ऑफ अटलांटिक ओशन एज यू नो दैट अटलांटिक ओशन इज लीस्ट अफेक्टेड बाई सुनामी बिकॉज अर्थक्वेक्स रेयरली अकर इन इट वाइल पेसिफिक इज लार्जली एंड फ्रीक्वेंटली अफेक्टेड बाई सुनामी एंड दिस अटलांटिक ओशन इज लार्जली अफेक्टेड बाई करेंट्स एंड वेब्स एंड टू बिगिन विद द स्टडी ऑफ करेंट्स ऑफ अटलांटिक ओशन लेट एस बिगिन फ्राम नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ओशन एंड दैट टू विथ हियर नॉर्थ अटलांटिक इक्वेटोरियल करेंट दैट फ्लोज पैरल टू द इक्वेटर इन इट्स नॉर्थ एंड इट स्टार्ट फ्राम गिनी कोस्ट एंड कोलाइट्स हियर ऑन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका इट इज वार्म वाटर करेंट एंड इट्स मेन काज इज ट्रेड विंड विथ विच ब्लोज फ्राम नॉर्थ ईस्ट टू साउथ वेस्ट डिरेक्शन इन नॉर्थ हेमिसफियर एंड दैट ट्रेड विंड ड्रैक्स वाटर वेस्ट वर्ल्ड दिस वाटर कम्स हियर एंड कोलाइड्स विद द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ ब्राजील कोस्ट एंड गियाना एंड इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन इट बट इम्पैक्ट इज मिनिमम बिकॉज दीज आर द ट्रॉपिकल कंट्रीज एंड दिस करेंट इज ऑल्सो वार्म हेंस देर इज ए लीस्ट इम्पैक्ट बट एज दिस करेंट मूव्स पैरल टू द नॉर्थ कोस्ट ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका इट इज हियर मूविंग वेस्ट टूवर्ड एलॉन्ग द कोस्ट ऑफ वेनेजुएला इट इज ऑल्सो टर्म वेनेजुएला करेंट एंड इट कम्स हियर इन द करेबियन सी ऑन एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ करीब कंट्रीज एंड आईलैंड इट इज नेम्ड एंड एज इट पासिस थ्रू करेबियन सी हियर बिटवीन यू कार्टन पेनसुला एंड दिस क्यूबा आईलैंड हियर इट इज यू कार्टन स्ट्रेट एंड थ्रू दिस स्टेट दिस स्ट्रीम पासिस हेंस इट इज कॉल्ड यू कार्टन चैनल एंड देन इट इंटर्स द मैक्सिको गल्फ एंड हियर इट इज फ्लोरिडा पेनसुला एंड बहामा आईलैंड्स एंड एच इट पासिस थ्रू द साउथ ऑफ फ्लोरिडा इट इज कॉल्ड फ्लोरिडा करेंट एंड बहामास करेंट इट कैरीज द फ्रेश वाटर ऑफ मैक्सिको गल्फ एंड इट मूव्स एलॉन्ग द कोस्ट लाइन नॉट कंट्रोल्ड बाई विंड रादर कंट्रोल्ड एंड डायरेक्टेड बाई कोस्ट इट मूव्स पैरल टू द ईस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका वेयर इट इज कॉल्ड गल्फ स्ट्रीम बिकॉज इट इज कमिंग फ्राम मैक्सिको गल्फ एंड इट मूव्स इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट वर्ल्ड डिरेक्शन बट देर मे बी ए डाउट दैट वेदर इट इज ड्रिवेन बाई विंड आर इट इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई द डायरेक्शन ऑफ कोस्ट सो द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट एंड दिस गल्फ स्ट्रीम इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई द ईस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका इट हैज इम्पैक्ट ऑन द ईस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका ड्यूरिंग स्पेशली विंटर सीजन्स बिकॉज 
at the advent of winter this area falls under the grip of cold cold polar waves and because this is warm water current coming from south carrying relatively warm water that's why this gulf stream keeps the temperature of eastern coastal plain of usa and canada relatively warmer it comes near newfoundland and here confronts this labrador cold water current here it is labrador peninsula of canada and on the basis of this the cold current coming from north or say arctic ocean and carrying icebergs and cold water comes here through this labrador strait davis strait hence it is called labrador cold current now here there is very wonderful oceanographic or oceanic phenomena collision between warm gulf current and cold labrador current certainly the level of water of ocean of which will be higher it is very easy to answer the water level of this labrador current will be relatively higher than that of gulf stream because of cold water and secondly the icebergs height of iceberg is above the sea level that's why here there here where two different nature currents meet in water body or in ocean phytoplankton are found and due to phytoplankton zooplankton are also found in abundance and fish are found in large quantity and of different species at the same time here due to collision of two currents their water eddies are developed which move north eastward due to the impact of here western winds but here this is oceanic phenomena now let us study the atmospheric condition here near newfoundland in atmosphere two different nature winds cold from north which is polar and warm from south which is westerly meet together develop cyclone and there is a thermal inversion there is a development of cold and warm front in which thermal inversion is found and due to thermal inversion here fog develops and fog in atmosphere fish in ocean these are the two very important phenomena salient oceanic and atmospheric features found here due to it i you know that here the water is shallow due to presence of two banks grand bank and george bank what is bank bank means the oceanic water which is shallow why it is shallow you have studied in plate tectonic geomorphology that the northeastern part of united states is rising you have studied that the newfoundland and the appalachian are rising it means to the west of mid atlantic ridge this part is rising and this rising part having shallow water is called grand bank and george bank it is of world fame for fisheries fishing why because water is shallow and insulation is sufficient phytoplankton due to meeting of cold and warm current is found but in atmosphere fog is found fog is not related with fish because there was once a question that here fog is found fish is found both are correct but both are not interrelated interrelated now after concentration and giving birth 
to fishing ground. Here, what becomes of the excessive water? It has two directions. One, water subsides here. It is raised due to collision of the two. With the result, it subsides and there is a subsurface ocean current flowing just below the Gulf Stream which is called Black Scar Current because here along the east coast of North America there is a geological feature named Black Escarpment. On the basis of that it is called Black Current. Now second way is that this excessive water moves in northeast direction driven by the westerlies and it has two paths one moving to the south one moving north and the southern one reaches here to the south of here united kingdom and the northern branch passes through the north track which passes through the north of United Kingdom and both here meet in the in both here meet in the North Sea. As you know that this North Sea has North Sea has relatively cold water and this warm water of North Atlantic drift. This is drift. This is not called current because currents generally move along the coast while drift in open seas driven by only wind and this is westerly wind that's why called North Atlantic drift and this carries warm water relative to that in North Sea and when this warm water and North Sea cold water meet here again fish are found and here it is also silo water of North Sea because as this water this oceanic water near Labrador is silo in the same way this water of North Sea is also silo. Why? Because we have studied it in tectonics and in endogenic forces that if the eastern part of North America is rising which are recorded here in Newfoundland and Appalachian likewise here this part is also rising which are being noticed in the rising of Scandinavia and Norway and Finland and the area of these countries are increasing because land is rising and opening. That is different thing. But here we have to study that here on the west of Europe in North Sea there is a bank called Dogger Bank which is world famous for fishing. Now its cause we have studied. Second very important point is that what impact this North Atlantic drift will have on the west coast of Europe. Certainly during winters when sun shines vertical over Tropic of Capricorn in the month of December the cold polar wind take the entire North Europe under their grip and it this warm water current shapes this West European coastal countries from severe cold and that's why this North Atlantic drift is called blanket of West Europe. Now it proceeds northward and here it is called West European current again moving toward north carrying warm water to the north coast of this Scandinavia this is called Norwegian current and this keeps the north coast of Europe 
water warmer here there is one port marmansk port this is located on 66 and 30 degree north latitude means just on arctic circle which should be frozen during winter here in the month of december when sun is vertical here but this norwegian current war water keeps it warmer throughout year hence it is called all weather port now after understanding the mechanism of north atlantic drift its impact on fishing industry here and on port on port which may be asked separately that what are the causes and impacts of the north atlantic current on the economy of western europe so you should be ready to give answer scientifically now come here this is iceland to its east it is called irminger current and to its west it is called east greenland current east greenland is a cold current which resembles in nature velocity characteristics with that of this labrador cold current while this irminger current is warm current that's why the ice lands southern part is relatively warmer and this is the region that most of the population of iceland and its capital located found along the southern coast of iceland now this north atlantic drift collides with here this peninsula of france and spain after collision its one branch moves north and through here english channel it reaches north sea while one branch turns south and moves through the front of gibraltar state and morocco here there is one island named canary because this water is moving from north to south along canary hence it is called canary current which is cold here again one doubt may be there in your mind that suppose its temperature is 25 degree celsius but while moving north it is called warm current because in relation to these countries their atmospheric condition it is warmer and the same temperature water current having 25 degree celsius if moves south named as canary current it is called cold water current why because people living here in morocco are northwest african desert region have warm atmosphere in comparison to that this current is cooler hence it is called canary current which is cold and which keeps the coastal climate of northwest africa cooler and this canary current reaches here near the guinea coast it along guinea coast it flows along the coast of guinea which is called guinea current this is also cooler cold current and its some water follows the north atlantic equatorial current and gradually as it comes southward although this is called cold canary current but gradually with the movement towards equatorial tropical climatic region this slowly and slowly becomes warmer and then this water flows in the form of north atlantic current it becomes completely warmer thus this is a current this is a current of north atlantic ocean in this system we have seen that 
this is the north atlantic equatorial current then yucatan channel florida current gulf stream and here north atlantic drift and again canary current thus a cycle of current is being developed and this cycle encircles this water which is relatively saline and warmer it is called gyr and it is also called gyral which in north hemisphere it is subtropical gyr which moves in clockwise direction and as we will study that these gyres are controlled by here the wind system and gyres turn a little bit right to the wind system and due to rotation of the earth these gyres shift or tend westward it means this gyre will get west side and in the east side there will be upwelling that will be studied separately here one more oceanic phenomena is that this is called sargasso sea because this is characterized with a grass algae named sargasso or sargassum and this is a saline water called salina because the salinity along the east coast along here west coast and here in equatorial region will be less here salinity will be less this is salina having this sargassum grass and this sargasso sea is sometimes term that sea without coast all the oceans all the seas have coast line of land but this sargasso sea is without coast it is surrounded by the current from all sides now one very important thing here in north means in subpolar belt is this irmingal current reaches in arctic sea arctic ocean from arctic ocean this east greenland current moves south and then this water through north atlantic drift again reaches in the form of irmingal current to arctic sea thus a cell or cycle current is being developed here which develops a gyre or gyral of north atlantic subpolar gyre it is called north atlantic subpolar gyre which is moving in anti clockwise direction while subtropical gyre direction is in north hemisphere is clockwise now let us come to the current of south atlantic ocean here this is south atlantic ocean current which is warm and the cause of which is south hemisphere trade the direction of which is from south east to north west this south trade drags the south atlantic ocean water which is forced to move from east to west it hence it is called south atlantic equatorial current this water comes here along the east coast of brazil and collides here very noteworthy phenomena here is that at the mouth of amazon here there is north atlantic equatorial current carrying voluminous amount of water at the same time river amazon the largest drainage basin of world carrying water pours down water here and that's why here there is a abundance of water which is deflected to the north and some water to the south and that's why there is a vast tract of flood at the mouth of river amazon 
and this is the region that Amazon is a river having the widest mouth in world. Now, after the collision of North Atlantic Equatorial Current and South Atlantic Equatorial Current along the east coast, coast of Brazil, there is a excessive water, some part of which turns back and it moves from west to east parallel to the equator which is called counter equatorial Atlantic current and this water this is warm water current which reaches joins here the south equatorial Atlantic current and then Guinea and north equatorial Atlantic current the southern branch of this south equatorial Atlantic current flows to the along the coast of Brazil and Argentina which is called Brazil current and this is warm water current while it confronts with this Falkland current which is cold water current. This Falkland current is a branch of Circum Antarctica polar cold current and this carries icebergs and cold water the same happens here which happened here near Newfoundland means here there is a meeting of warm and cold water hence in atmosphere fog in ocean phyto zooplankton and here fish develop in large quantity and the economy of this Falkland and South Argentina depends on this fish resource. Now, this uh, now after the meeting of these two, the water which is in excess flows along this Antarctica circumpolar current, which is of cold nature. And when it reaches here, it is divided in two branches. One branch moves to north which is called Bengula current, not Venezuela. Venezuela current is here and here it is Bengula that is a city port in Angola and it is on the coast hence Bengula current is named after this port city and this is cold water current and it is moving parallel to the west coast of Africa and here you know that there is one desert Namib here one desert Kalahari and these two deserts are warm desert because these are located on Capricorn and uh, but when this Venjula when this Bengula current flows parallel to these deserts. This is cold water and these deserts on the basis of that are called cold water desert. So this is cold water desert means Kalahari and Namib. This Sahara or Western Sahara is also cold water desert because this Canary current is cold current. Here there is a Sonoran desert this is hot desert, but to its west, it is California cold current in Pacific Ocean. Hence, this Sonoran desert is also called cold water desert. Here, it is Atacama desert and to its west, here it is Humboldt or Peru cold current. Hence, it is also called cold water desert. In the same way, there are four cold water deserts. 1, 2, 3, 4 and these also witness the upwelling phenomena. Here is upwelling, here is upwelling, here also upwelling, here also upwelling. Why upwelling? It will be detailed. It will be discussed in detail while studying upwelling. But here one again cold desert is found in Australia. To the west of Australia, as we have studied that there is a west 
as we will study that there is a west australian cold current that's why western australia desert is also cold water desert which is the fifth one two three four and that is fifth and this is a cold water current which slowly and slowly moves north and relatively its water becomes warmer and then it flows thus just back this just behind this south atlantic equatorial current thus there is a one system of currents in south atlantic ocean here one thing more is that here this circum antarctica cold current flows to the east and enters the indian ocean and here it is called agulhas current named after agulhas cape here is a meteor sea mount and other oceanic topography which are relatively high and divide this current in two parts one this vengula current and second this agulhas current and this is a one gyre developed in south atlantic ocean and this is called sub tropical gyre or gyrer which moves in anti clockwise direction there is no sub polar gyre in south hemisphere why we have already discussed it that in south hemisphere it is ocean hemisphere and there is a least impact of trades and land barriers and the southern western wind are say a roaring 40s 50s and 60s uh, carry the water from north west to south east which mix with circum antarctic cold polar currents that why in south hemisphere ocean there is no sub polar gyre so this is about the currents of atlantic ocean and you will write it in two paragraph one the current of north atlantic ocean and the currents of south atlantic ocean